The 4,038 Ford GTs produced between 2005 and 2006 take inspiration from the legendary Ford GT40 that took first, second, and third at the 1966 24 Hours of Le Mans. With no carbon fiber or computerized driving aids, the Ford GT may feel a bit outdated compared to other modern supercars. But like the car it was based on, once you head out onto the track, the numbers do the talking. An all-aluminum 5.4-liter V8 is mid-mounted and sits low in the car's frame, supercharged to produce 550 bhp at 6,500 rpm. The car can accelerate to 60 miles per hour in 3.7 seconds. Capable of reaching speeds of over 200 miles per hour, the car remains responsive and will slide without ever feeling like it will bite. Although at first glance, it may seem to be identical to the Ford GT40, the Ford GT is in fact longer, wider, taller, and structurally very different. The 2006 model year saw two limited edition paint schemes added to the Ford GT's palette. Tungsten gray with silver stripes and the distinctive heritage blue and orange heritage livery option.
Suspect vehicles have been stopped. Good job, officer. Engineering the future of speed enforcement. Delivering 100 times more electrical impact than a lightning strike, this generator provides the ultimate electromagnetic stopping force. Developed in parallel with the military, new lock-on algorithms deliver 75% faster target acquisition. At the beginning of the 90s, the Diablo replaced the Countach and was yet again the showcase for Lamborghini's now legendary V12 engines. The name, which means devil, is a return to using names of famous fighting bulls, with Diablo noted as being particularly ferocious. In 1993, the specialized Diablo VT was released. The VT, or viscous traction, highlights the inclusion of all-wheel drive, which would be a feature of almost all of Lamborghini's future cars. However, when the Diablo SV was created in 1995, it was based on the original Diablo and was therefore rear-wheel drive. With the SV or Sport Veloce name, which had only been used once before, it did include an upgraded engine capable of delivering 510 horsepower, larger brakes, and a new three-piece adjustable spoiler. The original brief for the Diablo was to build a car capable of at least 196 miles per hour. In 1991, the original Diablo was briefly the fastest production car in the world with a top speed of 202 miles per hour. With an optional SV logo on the side, other distinguishing features include dual instead of quad front fog lamps, front brake cooling ducts, and two massive air takes on the engine cover.
The original Super Sports was a limited run 3 liter created in the 1930s to break performance records. The Continental Super Sports, armed with pure energy and adrenaline, is a continuation of Bentley's attitude towards performance and pursuit of new extremes. To create the fastest, most powerful Bentley ever would require a very special type of engine. The result is a 6-liter flex-fuel twin turbocharged W12, producing a staggering 800 newton meters of torque. Not only is this engine immensely powerful, it is also possible to run it on E85 biofuel. A smoked steel finish features prominently on the detailing of the Supersport's minimalist body. Its bonnet vents, matrix grille, and headlight surrounds all benefit from a technique called physical vapor deposition, which is usually associated with the high quality finish found on luxury watches. Interceptor unit, we are receiving an assistance request from local patrol unit, patching them through. We are on Fairview Road in pursuit of a Dodge Viper SRT-10 ATR. The suspect is very aggressive and has already disabled one of our patrol cars. Confirm, patrol. Interceptor unit on route, proceeding with extreme caution.
been apprehended. All units stand down. Be assured it is a fighter. Successor to the famed Diablo, the Murcielago was first introduced in 2001. In a continuation of Lamborghini's tradition of giving its cars names from the world of bullfighting, the Murcielago was the name of a fighting bull that survived 28 sword strokes in 1879. The LP640 in its name refers to the position and power of its engine longitudinale posteriore, rear longitudinal, and 640 horsepower at 8,000 RPM, capable of a top speed of 211 miles per hour and a 0 to 60 time of 3.4 seconds, the car defies what is usually expected from cars of this size. The front and rear fascias were restyled along with the side vents, which opened to cool the V12 engine when required. A new exhaust system has been shaped into the rear diffuser, and the air intake on the left is enlarged to accommodate the oil cooler.
vehicles have been stopped. Good job, officer. The Porsche engineers knew exactly what their objective was, to make the new 911 GT2 RS the most powerful Porsche for the road. Objective achieved. The water-cooled six-cylinder bi-turbo Boxster engine with four-valve technology, variable turbine geometry, VTG, and Variocam Plus delivers its power through the rear axle. From its 3.6-liter capacity, it generates an enormous 620 horsepower at an engine speed of 6,500 RPM and 700 newton meters between 2,250 and 5,500 RPM. Couple this with a weight reduction compared to the GT2 of 70 kilograms from the clever use of carbon, aluminum, polycarbonate, and a single mass flywheel, you have a class leading weight to power ratio of 2.21 kilograms per horsepower. Carbon elements have been used wherever possible, including the front lid, spoiler lip, and rear wing. Even the mud flaps are available in carbon as an option. These not only save weight, but their distinctive matte black finish allows the 911 GT2 RS to be easily recognized when compared to the 911 GT2.
2010 Dodge Viper SRT-10 American Club Racer regained the street-legal production car lap record at Laguna Seca from a one-off exotic prototype with a time of 1 minute 33.915. A fitting finale for the current generation Dodge Viper, which entered production on July 1st, 2010. Specifically modified and tuned for track performance, the road-legal Dodge Viper SRT-10 ACR features racing dampers and shocks and many aerodynamic and lightweight components. The large rear wing is able to generate an amazing 1,000 pounds of downforce at 150 miles per hour. A fanged front splitter, rear wing sculpted by computational fluid dynamics and painted sidewinder wheels add to the already bold looks of the Dodge Viper SRT-10.
target. All units continue pursuit. Originating from the pits of Le Mans after a 16th overall victory, the engineers went on to develop a concept to show what was technologically feasible. 1,270 handcrafted units were built because exclusivity occasionally needs a limit. Underpinning the Carrera GT is a self-supporting carbon fiber body which can handle 603 bhp and a speed of 201 miles per hour while remaining incredibly light. The Carrera GT is lighter than the current lightest Porsche available. The world's best-selling high-performance car of 2006 is instantly recognizable as a Porsche. The typical Porsche front includes three air intakes, which identify the commitment to managing airflow in the overall design. The engine cover is a beautifully crafted twin power dome of cross-drilled stainless steel.
ahead. Use direct force. Weapons disabled. You are on your own until we can get back online. Lamborghini is redefining the future of the super sports car with a unique technology demonstrator. Its name, which means six element and refers to the position of carbon on the periodic table, hints at the extensive use of Lamborghini's advanced carbon fiber technology throughout its construction, including parts of the suspension and wheels. With an overall curb weight below 1,000 kilograms, coupled with the same V10 engine that was previously only found in the Gallardo LP574 Superleggera, the Sesto Elemento is capable of a truly staggering 0 to 100 kilometers per hour time of 2.5 seconds. Every single kilometer in the Sesto Elemento is sheer fascination, due in part to the relentless traction attained by using a permanent all-wheel drive system. Every single line of a Lamborghini has a clear function. The two vertical ribs at the front improve stiffness and guide the cooling air directly to the radiator and brakes. The triangle, like the one around the door handle, is a recurring theme that can also be seen on the air outlets in the hood. Surfaces have an outstanding red shimmer thanks to a nanotechnology which adds fine crystals during the final stage of production. To all units, officers require assistance on East Gorge Freeway. This situation is a high priority. You are required on scene immediately.
units in pursuit of the Zonda. Confirmed. Suspect is exceeding all posted limits. Requesting assistance. Confirmed, patrol. It's the unit on route. Central Command has authorized the use of all available equipment and resources for this pursuit. Use any means necessary to stop him. Move in.